Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Jackson Showalter and George Gossip. This amazing chess game was played in New York in 1889. Showalter had white pieces and he started with e4. Gossip played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. And now d4. The Scotch game. e takes on d4. Knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight takes knight, and gossip captured towards the center, bishop to d3 defending the pawn, d5 fighting for the center, e5 attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board, knight to g4, castling bishop to c5, bishop to f4, black to move, g5, is this a risky move or not? Yes, it is, if black decides to castle king's side. Bishop to d2. Knight takes on e5. Is this risky or not? Rook to e1. Pinning the knight. Queen to e7. Interesting, isn't it? Knight to c3. Bishop to d7. Queen to h5 and gossip castled queen's side. The black king escaped to the queen's side, but the queen's side pawn structure doesn't look too flesh, does it? Bishop takes on g5, f6, bishop to h4, queen to g7, bishop to a6, check, king to b8, bishop to g3, rook from h to g8, white to move. Ideally, white would love to plant his queen on b7 square, but how to get there? Queen to d1 was played. Knight to g4. Let's take it back. h5 seems like an interesting move, doesn't it? Knight to g4. Bishop to f1. Knight to e5, b4, bishop to g4. What happens if bishop takes on b4? Then queen to b1 and white wins. Back to our game. Bishop to g4, queen to b1, bishop to d4, pinning the knight, queen to b3. Black to move, gossips h-pawn was yelling, pick me, pick me. The cry was heard, h5, threatening h4, maybe. Rook from a to b1, black to move. Gossip was thinking long and hard, and calculated eight moves deep before playing his next move. And the move is h4, a pawn sacrifice. Bishop takes on h4. What was the idea behind the pawn sacrifice? How would you continue? Gossip played knight to f3. G takes on f3. What else? If king goes to h1, one line goes like this. Queen to h6, g3. Knight takes on h4, g takes on h4. Bishop to f3, check, bishop to g2, bishop takes, bishop, check. King to g1, bishop to f3, king to f1, queen to g6, and black wins. Back to our game. So after check, we have g takes on f3. Bishop takes pawn, discover check. Bishop to g3, blocking, black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing move? Queen takes bishop. Check. Kaboom. Amazing, isn't it? H takes on g3. And now rook takes pawn. Check. King to h2. Bishop takes pawn on f2. Black is threatening rook to h8 check. 
Bishop to h3. Black to move. Black play the move and white resigned and the move is rook. Takes bishop check. Show Walter resigned in view of this continuation. King takes rook. Rook to h8. Check. Mate. Amazing combination, isn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.